Hi, my name is Sarah Murphy. I'm a native here of Sarasota, Florida, and real estate has been my passion forever. At a really young age, I got an opportunity to start my real estate investment, but unfortunately, I had no coaching and no idea what I was doing. And because of that, you know, I lost a little bit of money I didn't want to, I had a lot of headaches I didn't want, and I was under a lot of stress. So I'm super, super excited that you get the opportunity to come into REI Live and IQ and learn from some of the best professionals in the industry. So you gotta come out and join us. What Mark Pellets brings to the table truly is next level, whether it's abstract like mindset or things that are concrete like strategy. It's hard to overstate the small amount of time I've spent with Mark and the impact that he's had on me as an individual and in my business. Hello, my name is Brittany. I am Mark Pellitz's daughter. It's an honor to be here and it's exciting to support my dad on this next journey in his career. He is excited to share his knowledge uh, about the real estate industry and so much more with the Sarasota community and everybody who wants to learn more from him. Just proud to be his daughter and uh, excited to see where he goes and where so many other people go after this event in the future. I learned early on that it's very important to be aware of who you surround yourself with because it's who you're going to become. And I knew that I wanted to become a real estate investor. I didn't want a job. I didn't want to be an employee. And I knew I had to surround myself with good people. And one of those people was Mark Pellets. He's a great real estate investor, a great coach, and a great mentor. And he's got a lot of things to teach others how to get ahead in life. And he can help you. He's helped me. So thanks for being here today and have a great day. Hi, I'm Jill and I'm here with Mark Pellets and all the team to support him. We're at Real Live on a Thursday night. He's going to introduce investor quarters to everybody, so I can't wait for everybody to hear exactly what we have for them. My name's Dane Peterson. I've been working with Mark for about four years now, and if you're looking for the right mindset to learn about real estate and get that motivation, you've come to the right event tonight. I absolutely love working with Mark Pellets, and the reason is not because he's so enthusiastic, which he is, it's because he makes me enthusiastic. And as I walk around and work with him, I meet all these other people, and they're enthusiastic. And they got enthusiastic because they're around Mark. It's infectious, it works, and he makes people money by making them make themselves money. I love it, and I'm gonna do it forever. I put 110 percent, 110 people. What, what, what do we get? 110. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon Henderson. I got introduced to Mark Pellets about six months ago. Every time I meet up with him, he gets me hyped up. He's going at 100 miles an hour, 100 percent of the time, and he's super excited. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and make my move. Let's go. We always like to start on time. One minute. Let's. Get ready. Hey, 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 hey. Ready to rock and roll. We are doing it. Let's We're do doing it. it. Let's do it. Mark Pellets, everybody. You know, about two weeks ago when we decided we were going to do this, I put on my board in the office, I put 110%, 110 people. And how many do we have here? I only say that because I want to impress upon you guys about thinking how important that is and putting a vision out there that you can actually see clearly and how you can actually make happen what you can see clearly. So I had this vision two weeks ago, put it on the board. And how many people have been in some of the classes in uh, IQ recorded so far? Let me see a show of hands. Well, let's have a big round of applause for you guys because you brought all these people here. In those emojis that you've been seeing, who's been sending some of those emojis? I want you to remember them and I'm going to explain what they mean because they have meaning. And everything has meaning if you give it meaning. You know, everything in life only has the meaning that you give it. 
And some of us have been thinking things that aren't the truth, and those are the things that will hold you back the most, the things that you think are true that just aren't so. But those emojis, so let me explain. The fist, what that fist is, is to punch out the fears and the memories of the past. The rocket ship is point your brain towards the future, focus on the future, and the heart is love. And that's what we're all looking for, really, love and connection. But who thinks they're here because they want to make money? Raise your hands and say, I. Yeah. All right, that's what I thought. You guys wouldn't come here if I told you I wanted to teach you how to love <laughs> or connect it to each other. But that's what we really want. But you guys come for the money. So we're going to give you a little bit of both. And what I'm going to tell you, though, if you can get the signature of love and vibration inside of you, and it starts with gratitude, then anything that you want, whether it's real estate or love or any business that you have, when you raise your vibrations, you start attracting better things in life. So, obviously, I've been vibrating at a high frequency because all of you guys came here. So, thank you for that. And I want to say thank you very much because there's only one thing that's the most important thing that we can't get any more of, and uh, that's time. And you guys took time out of your lives to come here tonight to listen to what I have to say. So, I'm really grateful that you would do that and think that Something's going on. You want to see it. And how many people came here to make money? Say, I. I. How many people wanted to see what the heck I was up to? I. So now I don't know what you guys want. <laughs> so do you want me to tell you how to make some money? Or you want to tell me? Well, I'm going to tell you both. REI Live is right where you're at right now. So tonight I'm going to tell you why you guys are here and what you're going to do after you get here and then how we're going to commingle with each other and build some energy and synergy and connect our minds so we can help each other in this community, help each other in the real estate business, and make some friends. You know, make some friends who want to build a community together. Who wants Sarasota to be better than it is now? That's right. So anyway, REI Live. That's what you guys are at now. Here's a community event that we're going to introduce what we do and who we are and why we can help you. So REI Live is a community of like-minded people, real estate investors that want to work together to help each other achieve their goals, whether it's in real estate or anything else. But everybody here is in real estate, so we start with that and then we find other ways to do it. We have instruction and we have education. And we also have vetted resources. How many people would like to have some really good resources that have been vetted and been used by somebody like me? Say aye. aye. All right. Let me, if you've worked for me before and you're in maintenance or roofing or AC or on my management team that does some of my flips, please stand up. Anybody who works on any of, any of my houses, please stand up. Okay, so we've got a pretty good crew here. These are just some of the people that work on houses. For, and all of you have access to all the people that we have. If you decide that you're going to become a member of IQ or REI or do business together, which we're going to tell you more about, I want us all to be family, you know. I believe in exactly what they said at the beginning when I came to one of their events uh, a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago and I heard Brittany and, and Paul talking about uh, collaborating and no competition and that's my language, you know, and, and, and I'm going to prove that to you guys tonight because if I thought there was competition, why would I want to teach all of you what I know? This is just Sarasota. You know, it's because when you get the mindset of abundance, there's enough of everything there. And when you have that feeling, then there's always more is going to come to you. So some of the trainings that we do, we won't talk about it much now, but my book is called Think Like a Real Estate Investor. And it's how you think that really determines the outcomes in your life. A lot of people have a lot more knowledge about real estate than I do, but a lot of people don't think the way that I do. And in our classes and stuff like that, we're going to teach how to think like a real estate investor. The book that I have will give you some things about that. And I hope you'll take serious note to that because it's not the knowledge about real estate. It's about self-knowledge because self-knowledge is empowering. You know, knowledge is power, but self-knowledge will empower you to go to different places. So what we want to do is teach you guys how to think. How many people woke up this morning and decided how they were going to think today? It looks like you guys all know me. You guys have been to my classes because not many people really think about what they think about. But why wouldn't you think about what you think about? The most important thing that we can do every day of our life is how we use our brain. 
So when you decide that you're going to consciously take control of your brain and point your brain in the direction of what you want, focus on your goals and put the memories of the past behind you, then you start being the causal effect of a life that you want to have. If you want to have one house, you want to have 10 houses, you want to have freedom, we get out of the memories of the past and we have specific ways to do that. I want to thank everybody who put this together today. If the clicker was going right, I could do this in order, but I'm going to jump around, so I want, I want to thank Brittany and Paul, first of all, for the event. And all the people that helped set it up, I don't know all the names of everybody who helped, but it took a small army because all this came together for me in the last two weeks, from the slideshow that I can't click, to the cards, to the, all the books, to the roses, and everything was a production. Everybody came together because for the last month, all I did was create chaos. And everybody was wondering what I was going to do, and you still might be wondering what I'm going to do. <laughs> so if I forgot anybody to thank, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you a little story, though. Who wants to hear a story about how I got to here? Yeah. All right. 21 years old, I got out of college, and I moved to Phoenix, Arizona. And um, I asked my parents to help me buy my first house. It was for $13,000, and it was 1979. And I called them up, and I was just out of college. I didn't know what I wanted to do, where I was going. I landed in Phoenix. I was supposed to take some time off, or I thought I was going to, but I couldn't sit still, go figure. And um, I called them up, asked them to help me buy the house. They told me no. And as the defiant kid that I was at that age, they told me no, that meant I was going to do it, because that's who I was. Anybody ha act like that when they were young? That's right. So I was determined. So that first house, I found a way to buy it with no money down. And from that, I, uh, in the next four years, I had over 100 houses, and I was a 25-year-old kid, and I bought all of those houses with no money down, put cash back in my pocket, and I thought everything that I touched turned to gold, and uh, well, it wasn't so good. It, the story didn't get great after that. You know, I had all this money, I was a young kid, and I ch started changing my habits. And uh, are we gonna click some things? No. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> <laughs> So by the time I was 25 years old, I was a millionaire. This is not working. I got to get on track. <laughs> so at, at 25 years old, I was, a, I, I was a millionaire, and I started to have some fun, or so I thought. I found girls. I found gambling. I found drugs. I found anything except what I did to get there, and it was only a process. And by the time I landed in Sarasota, Florida, um, I was just about broke. It took me a few years, and in 1998, um, uh, 1997, I was living on the North Trail with $1,000 that I borrowed. I had a rental car uh, with no air conditioner in it. And at that point, I was in a hotel that used to be the Imperial Hotel on the North Trail by the airport. And I, I got in that room and I finally said I had enough and I made a decision. And that's what I'm going to ask you guys to do. You know, everything in life is about making a decision and making choices. So how many people have never bought a, a property and made any money in real estate? Hands up higher. Let me see who we got here. Higher? All right. And how many people have more than one rental house now? Okay. Well, we got a good crowd here, and we're, you're at the right place to get started because we have all the resources, we've had the experience, and we're going to bring it to you guys. You know, we're going to open the doors and let you guys come in and see, touch, and feel what a real real estate investor does on a daily basis the systems that we have, the people that we use, and we're going to give you access to it all, the information. So anybody who wants to get started in real estate or who's in real estate right now, what we're going to give to you for free is the time to come and see us, have us teach you, and even hold hands with you as you move on down the road to your first deal, to 10 deals, to 20 deals, however many it is, whether it's building a rental portfolio, wholesaling houses, or flipping houses because that's what we do over at Relax Realty and REI Live, the people here. We have plenty of people with experience. So I started in 1998 again. I had no money. I was broken. I was living on the trail. And I found a way to get my first house again. And when I was, uh, I was uh, 41 years old and I made that decision. How many people have read the book Think and Grow Rich? How many people have an index card in their car, by their bed, anywhere? Anybody have the card? 
Okay, winners. Winners right here because that works. Everybody says they read the book, but the first direction in the book tells you exactly what to do. It gives you instructions, which I followed to the T when I was 21 years old. And I got to a place, I stopped reading the books and, and paying attention to the ways that I thought and the habits that I had until I got broke again. And I started again, and when I was 41 years old, I put on an index card. I'd have 50 rental properties by the time I was 50. And by the time I was 49, I had 50. I bought a house. The first house I got was on Reader Street, which just got sold. Lisa over here sold it. And that was the only house that I ever had any emotion attached to it because in that apartment, in that back corner, in this street, in this corner, I stayed in that apartment until I owned 50 rental properties. And at that point, I could do anything I wanted. I made my first move to the next house. And, uh, but the lesson there is, um, for me, rich is just making more money than you spend, whatever level that was at. So you got to get feeling where you're feeling comfortable and you can operate because when you're feeling a lack and scarcity and you're operating out of anxiety and fear, it's hard to make a move. You know, so one of the things that we can do for you is give you the confidence and the skills where you'll be able to move from wherever you're at. And everybody needs to break through, whether you're at your first house, your 10th house, or 100 houses. Like for me to go to 10,000 properties, I got to break through a barrier. If you haven't done your first one, you got to break through. And the best way to do that is to have somebody take you along with them and show you how to do it. I own several hundred rental properties now. Relax Realty and our team at Relax Realty, uh, we manage over 600 properties, and we'd love to manage your properties, so see us at some point. That's why we're at the back of the table. We'd love to have you on board. Um, and over the last 10 years, I've flipped, fixed, bought, fit, fixed, and sold over 1,000 properties just in the last 10 years here. And in the last, since I started in real estate, it's over $250 million in total sales. So I think me and the people that have helped me do that can help you. You know, we have professional people, we have lawyers, we have accountants, we have roofers, we have AC people, we have marketing people. If you want your business to take off, you know, we can help you do that. RE Live, REI Live is the place for you guys to come to get plugged into all the services that we offer and the training programs that we're going to have for you. We're going to have mentorship programs available, partnership programs, we're going to have three-day training seminars in all different things. And we're going to give everybody a chance to come see us and hang with us, come to our office, get trained before you ever have to do anything. So let's get up, everybody. Everybody up. Okay, I want you to look at each other, and I want you to look at each other, and I want you to say, I am a genius millionaire. I'm a genius millionaire. Let me hear you louder. And I want you to start slapping five and go give some high fives around. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it going. All right, everybody, sit down, sit down, sit down. All right. Did that make everybody feel good? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, what I just showed you guys was that in one second, by making a move and slapping five and saying something positive, you can actually stay, change the state you're in. Not the state Florida, but the state, the mental state you're in. And when you learn how to control your mental states, you learn how to control your life. Our thoughts are the language of our mind, and our feelings are the language of our body. When we get our thoughts in line with our feelings, we get connected and open the heart, and we get to see where we're going, and we get a vision for the future. We each have about 75,000 thoughts each day. And the amazing thing about that is the next day, you're going to have 91% of the same thoughts. That's why we keep doing the same things over and over again. But if you can take control of the way that you're thinking and just impress on that 9% thinking process, all of a sudden the game changes. A 200 hitter becomes a 300 hitter. Las Vegas becomes a, they just make 2% more and they build hotels. So all we need to do is figure out how to leverage some tricks and how to impress it on your mind so your vibrations will raise higher and you can start moving in the direction and getting more in your life. More what? Whatever you want. If you want more houses, you'll get more houses. If you want more love, you'll get more love. If you want more friends. But what happens is you've got to stay, take action. And if you hear, hear anything today, 
You're going to want to take it home and you're going to want to do it tomorrow because what you don't take home today and you don't do will be gone. And each time you learn something that you don't apply it to your life, it separates your neural pathways. And every time that you do something that you learn, it increases its strength. It's like working a muscle. So what we want to do is we want to get information that we can understand whatever it is, a little thing, and start applying it to our life and watch what starts to happen. You start to learn a new way to learn and you start getting stronger muscles and your brain start operating in a different way and you start to feel better and things start to happen. So just to go over what is IQ Investor Quarters, which is basically the same thing as Real Live, except we take you guys here and we bring you over to a place, Investor Quarters, and we do the same thing. We're a community. Who? It's you and I. It's everybody. It's you and I together. We have vetted resources, discounts, education, instructions, mentorships, partnerships, masterminds, we have synergy, and we add value by helping each other. Creativity is intelligence having fun. That's what this is right now. Me, do, me doing something like this was finding some creative energies in me that I didn't even know I had. Give me about 90 days and soon we'll have black lights in here and all kinds of things going off and we'll be having like rave parties or something. Okay, think like a real estate investor, think and grow rich. We talked about whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe he can achieve. That happens right here. I have several people that have been working with me for the last from three years to 10 years. And most of the time what happens when they come, they think they might want to own 10 houses. Who wants to own 10 houses? Okay, what happens is once you start feeling better and you're hanging around people that are doing more because you ever heard the five people you hang around is what your life is going to look like. If you start hanging around real real estate investors where it's really going on and deals going on, it gets infectious. Okay, who wants to be infected? Say I. I. That's what I thought. I'm infected and I intend on infecting you. I want you to believe because a lot of people right now aren't really believing it's the best time to buy real estate. Who says it's not? Who thinks it's a good time to buy real estate? Always say I. I. Okay, that's what we're talking about because it's always a good time to buy real estate if you know how to buy it. If you don't know how to buy it, it's never a good time. You can't know when's the right time to buy it or what's a good deal to buy if you don't have somebody that's teaching who's done it before. Well, we have that for you. I'm here. I'm here. Paul's here. Brittany's here. Dane's here. I see people spread throughout this room that are doing deals and they're all going to be part of this community and you're going to have access and we're going to help you. Help you what? Not make a bad decision. Not make a bad decision. Maybe not the greatest decision, but everybody has fear moving into the unknown territories. But if you come around and you get with people who have done it, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just take that leap. The first deal is the hardest one. It's the hardest one. How many people haven't done your first deal? Let me see. I just want to get a grip of you. Get, how many? Higher. Let me see. what. Because we're going to have special classes for you guys. We're gonna, I mean it. We're going to have special classes for you guys intro classes and if you don't have any money we can put you on deal finder there's all kinds of ways to get started in the real estate business no money plenty of money some money leverage creative financing and we've got people that are going to teach you everything so if you're sitting here thinking that you don't have the money you don't have whatever then uh you're in the wrong place because you came here tonight to hear how you're going to make money and we're going to show you tell you invite you and make you guys part of our lives. Who wants to be part of REI Live and IQ? Right. That's what I thought. Let me hear you say it again louder. Yeah. All right, that's what we're talking about. Because this is going to be fun, because real estate investors is not fun when you're all by yourself. It's not a fun business. Because it's struggles, it's hard, it's, you know, deals go the wrong way, people lie to you, people do all kinds of stuff. But it's only stuff. You know, it's all just a journey on getting where you want to go and you get, everybody's here, you guys don't want the money. You want what your perception is that having the money is going to give you. Yeah. It's not the money. I've been rich and miserable and I've been poor and happy and I can tell you rich and happy is better. Who wants to be rich and happy? Yeah, yeah I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> it's the best. It's better that way. But just because you have money doesn't going to mean you're going to be happy. You got to have the right mindset. You got to got to take control. You got to what you really got to do is learn how to love and give back. Yes, right. You know, that's the truth. You got to learn how to love and give back and you know, that's what got me started again. I got to be honest with you. About a year and a half ago, I fell down on the ice and uh, not skiing, but I was at the ski slopes. So I ski quite a bit. I, 
But I fell on the ice and I hurt my back and I'd been playing tennis and golf and not hardly working and I had never been to an office in my whole life. I had offices, but I'm 62 years old and I'd never even been to an office. I even had a building where IQ is, but I didn't have a key and cumulative time was nothing. Well, I was sitting home and, and I fell and I, asked my, I told my wife I was miserable. She told me, uh, what'd you say, Layla? That's what she said. She said, that's my problem. <laughs> that's my wife. That's my problem. And then she proceeded to tell me, why don't I use my brain and go to work? Well, this is the beginning of my work right here. Thank you. You guys all look beautiful. Let's hear a round of applause for everybody here. I got to be, be honest. This is a beautiful crowd. I could feel the energy. I could see the beauty in everybody. And I could just feel like something's alive here. You know, and when you feel alive, things come to life. So you want to be around people that have life. So if you're hanging around real estate people that are crying and whining and moping and all that stuff, that's going to infect you. Well, we want to infect you another way. We're doing deals. We're helping people. we got stuff going on time. There's excitement around us. And when there's excitement around, it spreads. And you guys get to make money too by hanging around people that are doing things and are happy about what they're doing. But more important than that, when things aren't going right, you don't know the difference. Because we've learned how to manage the noise. Stay between the lanes. Stay between the lanes. And you decide what those lanes are. You decide what's going to affect you. You decide what's going to direct your energy and your mood for the day. And so we learn how to think. Whatever the mind of a man can conceive. Thoughts are things. Who knows about that? Anybody know about energy and matter and all that stuff? I know you do. I heard you share the other day. Thoughts are things. Whatever you can think and impress upon your mind and hold it in place for a long enough period of time permeates and penetrates all of your body can become a reality, whatever it is. It happened again right here tonight. All the last two weeks I put on the board in the room that everybody saw who came into my office. It said in big letters there, 110%, 110 people. There's 120 people, 12 people here today. Okay, well, we did more. All right. Well, we did more because you guys did more because we had people teaching you how to ask. And who would like to see double this amount of people next time we're here that bring more deals? Who wants to have more than that? Okay, the only way that happens is by your participation. I can't do this again. We can do it, though. You know, we can do more together than anybody can do themselves. And that's what we're talking about, being part of a community that shares and cares and gives and grows. And the more you give, the more you grow. And then the more you give, and you start to be able to make different choices in life. And our life ultimately becomes about the choices that we make each and every day. And the biggest choice you can make when you wake up in the morning is to decide to take control of the day by taking control of your thinking. When you control your thinking, you control your world. And it's not easy. It's not easy because the body is, the body usually takes over the mind. Any, anybody ever think, I don't want to eat ice cream, I don't want to eat chocolate, and then they serve you chocolate and candy at dinner and the next thing you know you're eating it. Anybody happen? That's right. That's because the body is taking control. The body is stronger than the mind until you train the mind to take over the body. And that's that fear that keeps you from taking that first step. We teach you how to take control of your mind and how to apply it, not in real estate, but in every area of your life. And when you learn how to do that, you learn how to create a magical life. Everything is ancient. Change your thinking, change your energy, change your life. That's just a little storybook. This will tell you a little bit of story about me. You know, how did I get all those houses? And how did I make all that kind of money? Well, it started the books way back before this were all real estate books. But after the real estate books, it came about learning about how to live and how to think and different things to apply. So over here, Tommy Hopkins. Anybody here, Tommy? Yeah, I was in Phoenix, Arizona when I started my real estate career. He happened to be in an office right next to me, Champions Unlimited, and he was the first guy that impressed stuff upon me. And, you know, I can remember him saying, uh, oh, uh, can't you smell that steaks cooking in the backyard? And, you know, all that sales l l lingo and stuff. But he impressed me, you know, he touched me. That was the first, like, guy that was really doing it that, like, I wanted to be like him. 
And so that started over here, like the end of the 70s, and then the magic of thinking big and how to sell anything to anybody. And, and then I, I got Tony Robbins and then Think and Grow Rich. And then from there to that Marshall Silver one was the gap. The gap when I stopped reading, I stopped thinking, I stopped my habits from about 1986 to about 1998, I stopped reading. I lost all my money. I stopped doing all the things that I did to get me there. And I found myself in the hotel with nothing. And I started again reading. And I went back to the books that I had read before because readers are leaders. People that come to seminars and events like this, you're coming for information. There's so much information out there now. What you want to do is get plugged in. The people that read and find, because you, you can learn anything you want right now, and it's in books, it's in iPads, it's in podcasts. And, you know, so if you're not reading and learning different things, you're really not doing the things you need to do to really propel your career in real estate or anything else. So that's a little bit of my story. Now I'm over here, then I got into like God and Tony Robbins again, and then now I'm kind of into quantum physics and a quantum field and how energy works and we're not going to talk about that tonight because some people won't know what I'm talking about and some people will be mad that I talked about it. But if you're interested in that kind of thing, let us know on the sheet because we'll have some classes for you and we'll teach you how to live in other dimensions. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. All right. This is really my platform right here. I guess I, I got to say, so I want you guys to take this serious. It has nothing to do with real estate, but it has everything to do with what can change your life. And uh, so I want you to pay close attention to this. It's called Launch the Day. And it's a way to take control of the way that you think in the morning time. So we're going to set this up. You see, oh, it's missing something. We're going to go back to the night before. Before you go to bed at night, you're going to write down a list of everything you're going to do the next day. And you're going to do a gratitude practice, which I'm going to explain as we launch the day. So we're setting it up the night before. List of everything that you're going to do, a little gratitude practice. You wake up the next day. How many people go to the cell phone first thing the next day? It's the worst thing that you can be doing. You want to know why? You wake up in the morning, you go to your cell phone, and you find out something just went wrong or somebody's in the hospital, or a deal went bad, and now all of a sudden the telephone is taking your day. It's taking your energy. So no cell phone first thing in the morning. Take control of the morning by launching the day. So when we're going to wake up in the morning, we're going to connect with creative intelligence, whatever that may be. Call it it, God, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, your mama, I don't care. Just call it. Call it instead of calling the phone. Connect with something. There's something out there calling you, actually. It's actually looking for you. Okay? When you start looking for it, it will start to show up. The next thing you're going to do, and here's an easy one. If, it's not easy, but it's easy in the sense, if you want to change your state and change your vibration, we just talked about changing your physiology changes your life. You jump in the cold shower with a positive affirmation. Now... That all might not be sounding that good to some of you people, but it's, it's the lazy man's way out because you jump in a cold shower, it will immediately shock your system and it will change your thought process and you imprint an affirmation at that time because there's two ways to learn things. One is repetition and the other is to be in an emotional state and imprint learning in there. Like everybody can remember when their kids were born or their mother died or they had a bad wreck or something happened to them, we remember things that have a high emotional intensity. So in the morning times, we can get in the shower and immediately change things and we say a positive affirmation after we've connected to creative intelligence on the way to the shower. After that, what we do, we go into the gratitude practice. And the gratitude practice is um, three, three. Things that you're grateful for and you spend one minute on each of them. And the reason we spend the minute on each of them is because we don't want to just say grateful. We want to get the vibrational signature of gratitude. Okay? If we can start getting the vibrational signature of gratitude, and I'll teach this at the office, it's called levels of consciousness. Most people are operating out of anxiety and fear. After anxiety and fear comes gratitude. 
If you can get the gratitude and you can build a foundation, you can get anything from a place of gratitude. When you're in anxiety and fear, you go back and forth and I can teach you guys what that's all about if you come to our center. And you know, what I'm here to ask you tonight is for you guys to come to our center. And I'm gonna give you guys some incentive and I'm gonna tell you about it at the end. I want you to come to our center. Is that clear? What do I want you guys to do? Thank you. Who's gonna to come to the center? Say aye. aye. No, who's gonna to come to the center? Say aye. aye. I'm counting on it. I'm gonna bribe you too to come there. Because if we leave here tonight and you don't come to the center, we lose touch. And you lose touch with what you're feeling right now. And if you're feeling a little good and maybe there's some possibilities and maybe something's gonna happen in Sarasota that's bigger than what you thought when you came here, it's true. But you guys won't get to find out what that is until you come see me at my office. And I'm giving you an invitation. Everybody stand up who works at uh, IQ Relax Realty, REI Live. Stand up. How about everybody who's on the Love and Action team? Stand up. Everybody stay up. Love and Action team. How about the maintenance team? We got anybody else, other teams? Here tonight. How about the leaders? Who's, who's in the CIAs? Any CIAs here? Stand up. CIAs, up. So take a look around. Take a look around. These people are in the business. They're doing the business. They're part of what we are. If you come and join us, they're part of who you are. That's power, people. That's power. That's leverage. When you can leverage people and you can leverage information and you can leverage resources and you got somebody like me and us offering it to you right now for nada, and you guys really want to get started in real estate, you're going to come and see us. And I hope you do. And I hope we give you some reason too. And we're going to give you a book to take home that will give you some more information. So we're on three. After you do the gratitude practice, you are going to pray. And pray doesn't mean religious. I'm not religious or anything like that. You know, but I like to get quiet down and get centered and, and get my brain. Our brain is our weapon. And in the morning we're trying to point our weapon at what we're looking to do for that day and we consciously make a decision each day on what we want to do. So we're going to pray and then we're going to meditate. There's an there's a, uh, app called Insight Timer. It's free and there's guided meditation and for all of you who are thinking, ah, I'm not going to meditate and I can't, my mind's too busy. There's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's just a way and that's to do it. And to get started. And I fought it for a lot of years this past year, I got trained by a guy named Michael Gregory, a Buddhist monk who teaches mindfulness. And I went from doing it for a couple minutes and not ever putting any time together to where meditation is as important to me as going to the gym every day. And I go to the gym every day. Every day. And what we're talking about there is habits. Our habits, you are your habits. Wherever you are right now in your life, it's accumulation of the habits and the choices that you've made. So if you're exactly where you want to be, that's good. But if you're not, it's time to change the habits and take a look at your life. And if you're where you want to be, you need to get better because we're either growing or... We're either growing or... Dying. So it's our job each day to make a decision to grow. Okay? That's a formula called can I. Constant, never-ending improvement. Okay? When you figure out what your priorities in your life are, and they're really mostly this, the same for everybody, it's you know, uh, creative intelligence, it's health, it's family, it's uh, f finances, it's contribution, it's fun. Those are the areas. When you make a decision on what's in each of those areas, and each day you take baby steps, you crawl before you walk, walk before you run, run before you, before you sprint, and sprint before you take off, when you start building a life of that, you start building a foundation for living and you keep going up and you keep making it a process that you get anchored onto and you keep feeling better and you keep going for more. And it becomes a life of fulfillment. Okay, I can teach you guys how to get rich. I can teach you guys how to get, get real estate. I can teach you guys how to get in shape. But I can't teach you how to be happy because the art of fulfillment is individualized. And success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. People who have what it all looks good that aren't happy, that is a failure. Success means being happy inside. Wake up every day like it's Christmas. You know, make your vision so big, point your 
brain at a future that's so compelling that you wake up every day and you're like a kid in a candy store. Okay? And you don't need sleep as much anymore and you start wanting to eat better and you start taking care of yourself and you start to launch your life. Launch the day, launch your life. After that, after you do the gratitude practice, you'll ask one question and it's an open-ended question like, how can I be the best expression of myself today? What that does, it opens up the energy web to feed something out. You, you kind of become like a vessel when you op ask an open-ended question. And so you do gratitude and you open up an ended question. You can, can you see how different that would be than going to your cell phone and th seeing that your house burned down? You know? Okay? Yeah. So we want to take control of the day. See, if we took control of the day and we found out our house burned down, at least we'd be able to maybe handle it a little better. Maybe. But point is, when we start to control our mornings, any of the high performers in the world, if you, if you read about, you know, the people that run huge companies and the people that you read about that are what we call successful, 97% of those people start in the morning with a controlled discipline. My discipline used to be five minutes. Now, I don't start the day without two hours. This right here for me is two hours every day. So if any of you are wondering why I'm up so early, Layla, um, I, I, two hours to get ready to handle you. <laughs> and I'm still not doing that good at it, but I try my best. And that's all we can do is try our best sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, we can just go for it. See, nobody gave me a roadmap on how to do that, but we're going to give you a roadmap on how to do real estate. And that's what you're here for. You're not here to figure out how to have a relationship. You're here to figure out how you're going to make more money in real estate. So, keys to real estate success. Launch the day, gratitude practice. Now we might talk about something that somebody, who's sick of what, everything we're hearing so far? Who wants to hear about real estate? Yeah. Not many. Good, I'll keep talking. The other stuff's my specialty. <laughs> you guys may think it's real estate, but it's really not. It's really people. And it's obvious that it, it's really special. Because I see a lot of love right here. I feel a lot of love, and I see a lot of friends, and I, I see people that have come out of the woodwork or that I haven't seen for a while and that I worked with 20 years ago and people that I haven't seen. And, and, and somehow or another, I created enough energy that, you know, you guys showed up, and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. We're going to build something special here. You know, something special for each one of you. We're going to help every one of you who wants to get involved and build a better life for yourself and make some more money and have some more fun and be involved in something. What you're seeing right here tonight is just the beginning. This is just about the real estate piece of this whole thing. There's going to be some exciting things coming on, and I'm not going to tell you anything about it. You might get a clue if you come to 1945, 17th Street, Investor Quarters. That's where you're going to learn about more about me, learn more about us, learn more about the people, and learn about the specialized real estate knowledge. So what is specialized real estate knowledge? It's any area of real estate that you're going to decide to specialize in. And that could be as simple as I'm going to specialize in Sarasota, I'm going to specialize in multifamily. I'm going to specialize in single family. I'm going to specialize in wholesaling. I'm going to specialize in flipping. You're going to, you get an area where you find a niche and you get comfortable and you find your ground and you go to work that way. And when that starts to work and starts to take hold, then you can do something else. The problem with most people is they think they want to do it all. You know, and they wholesale one house and then they want to flip a house and then they want to, you know, and they're all over the place before they actually have a foundation for success. Because here's what we do at at our company, at REI and Investor Quarters, what we do is we learn something, we do it, and then we do it again, and then we teach it. Because if you've only done it once, you might have got lucky. You know, doing something one time is luck. Doing it two times is maybe a science, and when you can do it two times and then teach somebody else to do it, it's actually a fact. So we learn, we do it, we repeat it, and then we teach it. And we got lots of stuff to teach you guys. So specialized knowledge is just that, whatever area that you want to get involved in. You know, there's all kinds of make money opportunities in real estate. It could be notes, it could be tax liens. There's an infinite number of things to do. It's not just wholesaling, flipping, and rentals, but mostly what we do, we do 
REI Live and Paul and Britt and their company's fifth, fifth dimension? Third. Third dimension, okay. You guys are all going to the sixth dimension. <laughs> that, that's the rocket ship. The rocket ship is the sixth dimension and we're all looking to go to farther dimensions. At least I am. Anybody else say aye? Aye. All right. Investor quarters, that's the place. That's our training room right there. Investor quarters logo. Nice little room. We have a big table. And this place is going to be open to everybody for the next 90 days. Um, free. What are, let's hear it for that. <laughs> let's hear it. Come on. Come on. Who wants to learn? We also teach other stuff there. Like a, right now we have a 90-day program going on, Transform Your Life. Um, we, we're going to have Monday mornings at 6 o'clock in the morning for people who get early and want to collaborate with, real, with uh, entrepreneurs and want to have some mindfulness or meditation. Mindfulness, meditation, and money. Who likes that? Say aye. Yeah. All right. 6 a.m. Monday morning starting in two weeks. It's not on the schedule, but you just heard it. 6 a.m. two. And if any of you crazy people are around and you took my number and you wake up early in the morning, you can always find me. I'm always looking for somebody. So, REI Live, which has the same type of base as IQ Quarters, community, resources, instruction, education, and all the things that we offer. We come here, we meet like this, we have speakers every month. Next month we're having Brent Bin Daniels, TTP. He's not going to be live, but he's going to be live on the screen and there'll be questions to ask him afterwards. I'm pretty sure he's a seven-figure earner, he makes seven figures a year. He's going to have some information and each month here we're going to have other opportunities and people that are going to come in and speak. And we're going to continue to make this a format that um, we have some exciting things and we're going to keep adding different things to it where we can exchange ideas and properties and have a collaboration where people that are doing deals actually have a place to come in and talk to other people and do them. It's you know, a little bit different than thank you very much for sharing those three properties. I'm sure there's many more people in this room here that have some properties and we've got to figure out a way to get us really exchanging with each other and mingling with each other so we're really doing deals instead of just putting it out like that. So well, I'm going to ask you guys right now to, in the future, before the meeting, I think they send out emails. We want your deals so we can actually use some examples of here of some real life stuff going on. Um, There's a link in the sign-up sheet in those emails that you can submit your deals with photos and everything. So We've got your emails now. <laughs> All right. So... I'm going to talk about one more thing, real estate thing. Standalone properties and why it's always a good time to buy real estate. How, let's be honest, people. You guys are all real estate people. How many of you honestly think that now might not be a really good time to buy real estate? Raise your hand, be honest. Oh, well, I'm talking to the right crowd. I'm talking to the right crowd because there's a whole lot of energy out there that people are saying it's not the right time because prices are too high. It's not the truth if you buy the right way and you know what you're doing. And I'm going to just give you a little example. Um, in 1990, about 2001 or something, no, maybe 2003, I bought a, a, an apartment complex near the height of the market. So it probably was five, 2005, six. I bought at the height of the market and the market crashed. And at one point, I bought it for a million. It went down to worth 500,000. Another point, it went up to 1.5 million. But the thing about it is, I bought it as an asset to get cash flow from, okay? And cash flow is the freedom in real estate. If you want to have freedom, you need cash flow. And if we want real freedom, you need a management company to manage your properties. And you need to start that process at the beginning of building your portfolios, or you'll never have a life. You get trapped into the, the struggle of dealing with tenants and repairs and all that stuff. If you like tenants and you like, if you like evictions and you, and you like being called on Christmas and Thanksgiving, and that's your forte, and it may be for some people, then do it. But if you're looking for freedom, what you're going to want to do is with, right from the get-go, you're going to want to have the right habits and do the right things, which is get a property management company to manage your property so you can create a life. And I know at the beginning that seems hard to do because you want to save that percentage. 
but it's really not saving it because when you have a good property management company, not only do they save you the headaches, they have the resources to get your repairs cheaper and they'll take care of the evictions cheaper and everything will be a lot smoother and you'll get a chance to have a life and do more houses and you'll want to do more, okay? That piece of property that went from a half a million to two million back to a million, it didn't make a difference at all because I still got the same cash flow from it and now I own that asset and have no mortgage on it. So, if you can acquire property that stand on their own, and standalone means you buy this piece of property right here, and you make sure that this piece of property pays you a little bit of money every month, okay, and it won't cost you. How many of those properties would you like to get that make you money every month? Okay, and you can do that in a good market, an appreciating market, a down market, um, sure. I'd like to buy much more properties like I did when it, the market was crashing. I killed it then. Because one thing you do is you do what the other people aren't doing. When the market crashed, I started buying. But we don't have, everybody doesn't have that opportunity now. You're sitting in a room on Tuesday, Thursday night wanting to find out about buying real estate. And I'm going to tell you this. If you buy properties the right way and you want to build a rental portfolio, just go structure deals so that each deal that you buy will provide some cash, more cash. The more cash, the better. But... Just get properties that you structure a deal so you get cash flow on it. That sound like a good idea? Yeah. All right. So with that, I think we're about all out of my time. So we're going to give, uh, let's go for 10 minutes. Anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask? We'll have 10 minutes for questions. Is that good? And then we got a few more goodies. Go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks, Mike. For the headquarters, but I want to get in there for the headquarters. When does that start, and how does that process go? What are the selected dates? Yeah. yeah, the schedules in that pamphlet that everybody got there, Tuesday at 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and Wednesday at 6.30. Um, it's a great place to start. It's on goal setting. Okay, so if you guys are beginners or you haven't set your goals this year, or even if you have, um, we got somebody great. Jerry, would you like to say anything about it? No? Well, I'm going to say something then. Yeah, be there. Jerry is going to be teaching goal setting, and Jerry is, is well versed to do that. He, he trained with Harv Ecker, okay? He was the president of Center of Positive Living when I was the vice president. He teaches the longest course in Course of Miracles, the longest standing course in Course of Miracles, and he used to have a, a thing called the Happiness Hour. So this is the guy you guys are going to want to see, and I would want to go see Jerry teach about goal setting, and I know how to set goals. So we got a great way to open this whole thing up, and that's at IQ next week with Jerry Jordan, and that's just a sampling of the type of people that we're going to have teaching classes there. Okay? We're also looking for sponsorships. We got right now. Let's have a round of applause for Beniva Flowers. Who got some roses? We we got in the back of the room Bob there with Southwest Florida Home Inspectors. Okay. We got Van Gates Dramas. We got RRG Relax Realty Group. And Sable Bank. Okay. And, and this is before we even started dry. Okay. So if you can think of anybody who would like. Like if you got a business that you think might want some exposure here, we got some great sponsorship opportunities. We're looking for sponsors. There's great things that go along with sponsorship. We're not going to tell you about it now, but if you're interested or you know somebody does, get with me, get with Britt, get with Paul. Let us know because we'd like to see you up on the board and we're going to let you know how we can leverage that to add value to your business. Brent Daniels, next month. It's going to be good. I want you to bring some people. I want you to be a part of this. I want you guys to help this thing grow. I want you to know that it's not always going to be just me talking about what we're doing. We're going to have real information on how to launch your real estate career. By coming here regularly, you'll get to know me. You'll get to know Britt. You'll get to know Paul. You'll get to know all the people on all of our teams. Mike, he's a trainer right here. Uh, Dane, Justin, Sam. Devonda, who would like to own some stock in me? Okay, well, you guys are going to get the chance to own stock in me 
actually a company that's called You and I. I'm not going to confuse things tonight, but it's You and I, and You and I, and You and I. And the only way you're going to find out about that, we're going to do it right now. Give me a stock certificate. This certificate entitles you to 100 shares of You and I stock. <laughs> IQ Investor Quarters. The only way you're ever going to find out if this is going to mean any money to you is if you bring this to IQ Quarters, Investor Quarters, in the next 45 days. That means by the end of June, if you want to own some stock in what I'm doing in my life, on top of getting the education and getting to see how we run a multi-million dollar business. So I'm bribing you. I'm here offering my help. I'll teach you how to make money in real estate. I'll hold your hand and do it. I'll allow you some resources to help you get off the fair. And on top of that, I'm going to give you an opportunity to own stock in a company that could be the next Google or bigger. Imagine that. Who wants some of that? Say, I. I. Who wants some more of that? Say, I. I. Come on, let's do it. Now, I can't do that alone. I need you guys. Okay? It starts right here. Sarasota, Florida. This is about community. It's about making money. This is about having some fun. This is about helping others. Everybody stand up. Everybody pick up your roses. Now I want you to ex exchange roses with somebody and give them a hug. If you don't have roses, hug somebody anyway. Hug a guy, it's okay. okay Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we got a vibrator over here. That's a different story. You guys are bad. I was warned. My boss warned me to keep my mouth shut tonight, and I did a good job. Right, Jill? Thank you for being part of the beginning. The beginning is something special for you guys, for me, for you and I, you know? Did you guys feel what that felt like to hug somebody and have a rose? And did you feel anything special here tonight? If you felt something special tonight, I want to hear you say I as loud as possible. Say I! I! Let me hear it again! I! Again! I! Stand up! I want you to look at the person next to you who you changed roses with. I want you to shake their hand and I want you to tell them I'll see you next time here if I don't see you over there. Guys, I am so excited. Mark just partnered with us on REI Live. Mark Kellis is a rock star in the Sarasota area. We are so excited to have him. He just killed it tonight at REI Live. That's Real Estate Investing Live here in Sarasota. Mark really killed it tonight.